The instructional technology team often gets uh, questions regarding the its learning planner and teachers wanting to have the ability to modify the columns in the planner um, to better fit their needs um, as they facilitate instruction through its learning. And one of the things that we often have teachers ask for is the ability to either modify and have a column specifically for a lesson objective or even having a column specifically dedicated for listing a homework assignment. Um, so in this tutorial, what I'm going to show you um, how to do is to create those unique columns that would be necessary to um, allow for you to have better instruction through its learning um, for your students. So what I'm going to do here is I've um, entered into my planner for my course, and as you can see, my planner is structured um, the way that it comes from my uh, content office. Um, so I have my unit um, headings here, and then I have my specific lessons that have been um, laid out. So what I want to do is something that we often get asked is to add a column for homework. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here to my ellipsis and I'm going to go into my planner settings. And so this is where I can see, you know, who is, who, who is able to see each one of the fields uh, within the planner. So this is the kind of the default setting. Um, that has been determined um, kind of district-wide. Um, but I now have the ability, because this is my instructional course, to make the decision as to what my students actually see or what is actually visible um, for myself or my students. So what I'm going to do is I want to add a field for homework. So I'm going to select Add Field. This is homework. And I want everybody to see it because not only do I want that to be visible for myself, but I want it to be visible for my students. And I do want the homework to show on the dashboard and the calendar. Once I make that um, addition, I'm going to go ahead and select Save. And when I do that, I'm brought back to my planner view. And now I have my homework column. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down uh, to my first lesson and I'm going to add in some homework. So if you hover over this, you'll see you get the pencil, so I can either just uh, click in the box and start editing my text, adding some text there. I can click on my pencil and I get the rich text editor, which um, will allow for me to add any number of um, items to that content or block. But what I want to do is I'm just going to type in some, some text. Um, something along those lines. If I wanted to be fancy, you know, I have all of the capabilities of the rich text editor there, but for this purpose, I'm just going to take that and I'm going to go ahead and select save. So now within my homework column associated with my lesson one, I now have this homework assignment. So now when I select to add the date for today, um, so that this appears for my students on their overview page, when I select OK and I come back to my overview page, um, notice that all of my lesson resources are associated with my lesson for the day as well as my content standards. If I click this show more, then there is where that homework block is now showing for my students.